Hello, this is Jonathan Knight, um, of B Movie Madness. Um, I wanted to do a channel update. Um, as everyone knows on Facebook or in my Facebook group, I am attempting to resurrect my B Movie Madness channel after many, many delays and other problems. Um, recently, I got the camera to work on this old laptop, but I can't really find an editor, an uh, editing program that I'm comfortable with. So, I've decided that for now I'm just going to do them as is. I'm sick of things getting in my way. So, you know, um, my friend Michael Church has made a lot of these cool intro pictures, and I'm going to use them as thumbnails in the video. And then when I find an editor, an editing program that I'm comfortable with, I'll, you know, edit the videos, maybe do a little skit to make them fun. But for now, I'm just going to, you really want to get back to watching. Um, and reviewing B-movies. The reason I want to do a YouTube channel is that there is not, in my opinion, a lot of B-movie reviewing channels. There's a few of them that are pretty good. I think um, Good Bad Flicks uh, is really a lot of fun. Um, I'm not really a fan of Red Letter Media. It has its fan base. I respect that fan base, but I'm not a fan. But I want to do something that, you know, where I want to watch and respect these movies. Yes, they're bad movies. Because even good, bad flicks, they riff on the movies. And I think it's very funny. But I want to do... I don't want to riff. I just want to love these movies. Or not, depending on the movie I watch. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to, you know, really just... Get back into reviewing like I was a few years ago. Like, this year, I've only done one review. 2016 and 17, I only did one movie each. So, I'm really, by the end of this year, I want to have maybe, like, a handful of reviews. And the one thing I'm going to do it differently, um, thanks to my friend I mentioned earlier, Michael Church, uh, he's got me into horror comics. He sent me a bunch of, like, Puppet Master comics. And I really enjoyed them. And I haven't been into comic books in a long time. I'm, you know, I'm a movie guy. But this was a cool way for these, you know, characters to continue in another format. You know, since Charles Band isn't really doing anything interesting with the movies right now. But, you know, when my first, re my, I think the first review I'm going to do is I'm going to review issue number one. There. Issue number one of um, Doll Man Kills the Full Moon Universe. So this can, it's a six-part series, and I think just part four just came out today when I'm while I'm filming this. Um, and I well, I've read the first three, and but I'm gonna review them all, like you know, separately. Um, but this is gonna be my first review. It's gonna be a comic review, so it's gonna be really different for me. Um, I really enjoyed this. I really want to talk about this. And the other one that I'm really excited about because it's one of my favorite B movies, and it's a movie that I'm just not going to review the movie, I'm going to review the, you know, Blu-ray um, disc. I'm going to review all the special features, the picture quality. Another thing I've never done, and that's, of course, Maximum Overdrive. Look, you see that glare. It's a great cover, though. Uh, Maximum Overdrive. Um, I'm really excited because I've never reviewed all this stuff, and there's a lot of special features on here. I mean, see that whole bar right here? That's nothing but special features. You can't. There's a bad glare. Commentary tracks, featurettes, trailers, and I've watched and listened to everything on here except for the second commentary track. Once I've listened to that, I can start making maybe a few notes. Um, I don't really make that much notes. I rather just you know review you know as is. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a scripted kind of person. Let me see, but those I want to do, and there's another one I really want to do, is a movie I talked about on my other channel a long time ago. It was a trauma, it was a trauma pickup, a movie that they put out called Dead Dudes in the House, and it's one of my favorite, like, you know, uh, like, you know, never seen movies, like, you know, rarely seen movies, and it's one, uh, one that not a lot of people have seen. They just recently released it on Blu-ray, not trauma, but Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, it was under. They had released it under the original title, "The House on Tombstone, Tombstone Hill," and also has a title, "The Dead Come Home." I think the on-screen title is that. Uh, but I grew up watching it as "Dead Dudes in the House," and I'm really excited about talking about that one. Uh, and also, "Blood Harvest," which is a slasher movie that they just re-released on Blu-ray, or released on Blu-ray, uh, "Vinegar Syndrome." Um, they're also putting a like they're. 
Black Friday sale. Um, usually they have, they announce a few titles, so we'll see. Um, but those are the ones I'm planning on doing. That's I plan on reviewing the first three Dollman, 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 Dollman Kills the Full Moon Universe comics, and I want to do Maximum Overdrive, A Dead Dudes in the House, aka House on Tombstone Hill, and what was the last one? Blood Harvest. I also want to review Demon Wind because Demon Wind's one of my absolute favorite like horror B movies. I absolutely love that movie. And I just want to talk about it. And I'm really hoping I get some editing software that I can use. Because the laptop I'm using is um, an older one. And it has Windows XP only. So a lot of these programs just don't want to work on it. Um, and Windows Movie Maker that's on here right now is really shitty. It's one of the... It's, I think they stopped making Windows movies. Windows Movie Maker. I think it said 2017 they discontinued it. But the version I have on here does not like the um, webcam clips. They don't like them at all. It won't even if I try to rec I convert it to another format it, or you know another file name or another format. It just won't do it. But I'm really excited about doing this. I really want to just you know go back. I look through my channel today, and a lot of the, I'm really very critical of my own work, and I really really hate my old videos. But there's things about them I really like that I want to continue, and one of them is. When I'm reviewing movies, I take them out of a garbage bag. I just I think that's different. I mean, that's the one thing I think I did in my reviews that was different from everyone else. Um, but about it, I mean, I just want to make this update video. I wanted to test the waters with this video because I'm I had like the worst luck when it comes to these kind of video or recording reviews of videos in general. I have audio problems. You can name it. I mean, it's just ridiculous I just had the worst luck and so that's it for now um that's my whole plan by the end of December I want to do at least those four three four movies maybe demon one will be one of them and I want to do the first three or four or five it depends on you know if I get the fourth or fifth issue of doll man kills the full universe and if people like the comic book reviews I'll do um I got. I'll try to do some more. I mean, just give give me some recommendations for horror comics. Horror comics only. I know I love DC and Marvel. It's just that's way too much to get into. Um, but if you have any like recommendations for horror comics, just let me know, and I will you know look into it. Uh, as for anything else, um, if you like my videos, if you just want to support it, you just just give me a thumbs up. Also. Before I end this eight minute video, looking at the clock, um, a good friend of mine, Michael Hennessy, I hope I didn't butcher your name because I'm really bad with names, his horror short, Zombie Road, is now available on Amazon Prime. So if you are a, a Prime member, you can watch it for free. I highly recommend checking it out. It's an awesome little movie. And if you watch it, please leave a, a comment on the video. So, Michael, know what you thought about it. You know, he really appreciates the feedback on, you know, the video. I mean, it really helps him for, you know, maybe his next project. So, please, if you're an Amazon Prime member, it's about, uh, it's, it's a short, it's only about half hour long. It's a lot of fun. And just give him some feedback, you know, on it. You know, he's really nice enough to let, you know, me watch it for free. And give other people a chance to watch it, so we can get some feedback on it. I mean, I'm really rambling on right now. I really apologize, but I'll leave a link below. I'm not sure why I'm pointing down, but I'll leave it below uh, in the um con or in the description. I'll put the link for the Amazon video. But that's it for now. I really appreciate if you get anybody who stuck to the end of this nearly 10 minute video. I appreciate it. Um, this is Jonathan Knight from B-Move Madness. Thanks for watching, and look out for my Doll Man Kills the Full Moon Universe Issue 1 review, hopefully by the end of the week. Thank you.